just last month both the Tata Curve SUVs had been launched and at that time we had brought you the first look and walk around videos of these SUVs but today we have been invited to the drive event of the Curve Ice and I have with me Mr. Mohan Savarkar, Chief Product Officer Tata Motors Passenger Vehicles. Welcome to the show sir. Thank you Amber, nice so being with you. So in this latest episode of Under the Hood sir, I would like you to address some technical aspects and questions sure. around the Curve Ice. So stay tuned as we go have a deep dive into the Curve Ice. So the first question sir that I would like to ask you, you know it's been a month since the cars got launched and uh, I have also got some feedback from my close circle and one thing that I was seeing coming up again and again between people who really are interested and intrigued by the car is that its interior is a Nexon like the Nexon. So uh, dashboard and etc, they feel like that but of course then I am explaining to them that this is not the same segment, yeah. this is a segment above. So what would you like to say to people who are having that concern right now? See this is a car in the mid SUV segment hmm. and our first attempt at cars in the mid SUV segment. Yeah. So the car has been made completely new right from the platform. The platform that we have used here is called Atlas whereas what people are looking at in Nexon is called the X1. So the differences start from there. So there'll be very many things that need to be very different to qualify for being called into a mid SUV segment. And all of those aspects are present in this car. So don't worry at all, this is a brand new car. Sir, and also uh, being a segment above, does the even the lower variants have some differentiating factors in terms of the kind of experience they are providing to customers of the curve when com compared with the Nexons? Sure. So see, when you come to a mid SUV segment, it is necessary to make sure that the car meets the aspirations of people buying cars of this segment. So the whole car has to be very different when it comes to the mid SUV segment and it's not just the size but the way the car behaves, the way the car handles, the overall let's say appearance of the car outside and inside, the powertrains that have been provided with this. So all of them need to be tuned for this segment of car and you will find that all this has been done for the curve as we bring it to you today. And sir, what kind of a performance difference is there between the Hyperion with the DCA and the manual transmission? So the Hyperion engine, when it is mated to manual transmission or when it is mated to the automatic, mm -hmm. has same characteristics. Okay. So both of them have the same 125 horsepower okay. and 225 Nm torque. So just because someone is going in for the DCA for their daily runs also doesn't mean that they are compromising on their top end performance or anything like that. Everything remains the same for all customers across. And sir, is the DCA a wet clutch system or a dry clutch system? Yeah, so, so being in India, hmm. you cannot have a DCA running successfully with a dry clutch. Yep. So we had to make sure that this is a wet clutch system. Correct. Okay, and therefore it's also provided with all the technology that is required for it mm. to make sure that it can run in India. Correct sir, because as uh, a lot of people are now buying automatics, the awareness is growing and uh, slowly people are now, you know, coming to the fact that uh, maybe there is a certain way to drive these automatics also. And then you have these concerns coming up ki array double clutch system may uh, dry clutch hota hai. Yeah. So usko aap, uh, you should put it in neutral when on a red light or something like that. Where which people think ki meri gadi zyada chalegi is cheez se. So that is not something that uh, so curve that, owners will have to be worried about. So that worry should not be there at all. <laughs> anyone who buys curve because this is a wet clutch system and Correct. you don't have to worry. One thing uh, more uh, you know piqued my interest sir was that uh, what is the patented self healing tech in the DCA. Yeah. yeah. So what it means is that say, when you run this dual clutch transmissions yeah. in a dusty country like India, okay. 
it's very likely that dust gets into the transmission mm -hmm. and most likely it will also enter the hydraulic system. Yes. When this happens, it is likely to clog the walls that are very, very sensitive for the proper functioning of the DCA. So with the self-healing technology, we are able to make sure that extra oil is pumped at the wall in which a particle has been detected okay. to dislodge the particle and then take it right up to the filter and then trap it there. So this way the clutch remains uh, very, very trouble free. Okay, okay. Is there any like uh, an expected lifespan for mm -hmm. these clutches in the DCA? Oh, they're pretty long. Don't worry at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> forward i would like to ask uh, what led you guys to making the decision of offering the dca in the diesel version as well because yeah. of course that is a segment first that is not something we so see normally you are seeing that in india people are not believing that the diesel has a very bright future hmm. because of which people tend to not provide the most advanced technologies when it comes to diesel cars so we wanted to overcome that because mm -hmm. we are seeing that the diesel is going to have a longer life in India, especially in the SUV segments. And to show our confidence, we have also made sure that we are providing a DCA kind of transmission along with the diesel engine in our curve. One last question that I would have uh, for you because I'm sure you know Curve already Curve customers are now growing. Yeah. Cars have started to being delivered for customers, and Tata has their entire own portfolio of official accessories that you guys can explore. But फिर भी वो होता है लोग अपनी नई गाड़ी लेके जाते हैं accessories में. So sir, what do you think? What kind of accessories and stuff are the most dangerous in terms of that they can, because these cars are so modern these days, ki they can interfere with how the car is functioning and lead to big problems. So see, there is no problem if someone buys something like a floor mat or a mm. seat cover, mm. normally. But in these cars, since there are six airbags in this car, so even a seat cover is something that one must not do in aftermarket. Similarly, it's very dangerous to touch or interfere with the electrical circuitry. Yep. Because the car is so electronic in nature that a common customer may not know what not to do. Yeah. And therefore it is advisable not to tamper with the electrical circuitry in the cars. Well, there it is folks, do buy new cars but do not get them interfered with. And thank you so much Mohan sir for giving us your time, for inviting our team to test out the Curve SUVs. And uh, I'll see you in the Pleasure. next one. Pleasure. Pleasure. Nice sir. meeting you. Thank you. Yes.